Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with question number seven in this series, We Ask.TV. So in this video, I'm answering a question that I've gotten a few times in the last few weeks from prospects and clients, and it's which domain registrar should I use to register my new domain name? So there's a bunch of registrars out there where you can get a domain name, and a lot of people might not think it really matters which you choose, but I have some personal experience uh, as to why it does matter. So back in 2007, there was a uh, domain registrar named Registerfly that got into a bunch of issues with a lawsuit. I don't really know all the details, but I had some domains with them and actually lost one domain and had a few domains that got kind of locked up for, I think it was a month or a few weeks um, while they were being transferred to another domain registrar. And so that, this all happened during the lawsuit, and so I was just missing domains for a while and couldn't access them. So it is pretty important to have your domains with a company that's kind of too big to fail in a way. Uh, there were a lot of uh, other regulations that were put in place after this happened. I don't know all the details on that, but after going through that experience, I knew I wanted to be with a company where my domains were safe and that wasn't gonna happen again. There's no guarantees, obviously, that that won't happen to another company, but um, I ended up switching to GoDaddy back then in uh, 2007, and I've been with them ever since. I know people have issues with GoDaddy, and I'll list a few, but um, I've always had good experience with them, and I've had domains with them since I switched from Registerfly back in 2007. So you definitely want a reputable company that's been around for a while. Uh, you want to have all the controls available. I've seen domain registrars, and I've actually logged into domain registrars for clients to switch their domain over to my hosting and wasn't even able to do it because they didn't give all the DNS controls. So you wanna make sure you have all those controls available to you. Most registrars will give you that control, but I've seen a few that do not. Um, you wanna look for pricing, obviously. Pricing is pretty similar across the board for domains, but you might get deals from some registrars, so keep that in mind as well. I've always been happy with uh, GoDaddy's prices. The controls they give are good and uh, the changes take effect fast because GoDaddy is such a large registrar. It's always been reliable. I've never had really any technical issues with GoDaddy either. Another thing I like about GoDaddy is their pro dashboard, which is good for web designers or marketing agencies because you could purchase on behalf of your clients or manage their accounts. And uh, I'm able to log in securely to access client accounts to make changes for them. And they also have two-level authentication where when you log in, they send a code to your phone. That just adds an extra level of security. That's definitely very important uh, for domain names. You don't want to have uh, security issues with your domain account because you could potentially lose your domains. So I have heard a lot of issues with GoDaddy. Uh, I actually had one lady who said she would never buy from GoDaddy because their uh, founder, Bob Parsons, hunted an elephant at one point. So apparently this was covered in the news. Um, so that's one reason. Bad customer service is another thing I've heard from people. I know GoDaddy's won awards for customer service, um, but they're huge, so I'm sure people have issues with their customer service as well. So I've never had any issues, but I don't really deal with their customer service very often. Another thing people don't like about GoDaddy is how they upsell. So when you try to purchase a domain, they're gonna to try to sell you hosting, email addresses, privacy, and like certification. Some of that stuff you might want, but if you're just buying a domain, just decline it. It is a little annoying, but they're just trying to uh, sell more stuff. Uh, I will talk about domain privacy in an upcoming video, so I'll link to that. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. So I'm not really trying to promote GoDaddy necessarily, I'm just trying to share what I've used and also gave some of the reasons that I've heard that people don't like GoDaddy. There are a number of other reputable options uh, for domain registrars. So you could search for the top registrars, look for reviews and you know best customer service and things like that. Uh, Namecheap is another one I've come across that, that seems to be good, and gives all the controls you need. Uh, Network Solutions is a popular company that's been around for a long time, is now owned by web.com, I believe. Uh, I've used them a lot with different clients and, and they're a, a good solid registrar. Uh, Enom uh, is E-N-O-M.com. Uh, they're popular, been around for a long time too and very reputable. And then Google, of course, sells domains as well. 
So those are just a few other options that I've run into and I think are all safe and reputable companies for registering your domain. So hopefully that helps to shed some light on the question of which domain registrar you should use. If you have any thoughts or comments, uh, make sure to leave a comment below, maybe share some insight on the registrar you, you have used, whether it was positive or negative experience, that'll help uh, the viewers to uh, get some more opinions and uh, find a domain registrar that'll be good for them. If you have uh, another question on another digital marketing topic, make sure to go submit it at weask.tv and I might cover it in the next video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.